Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, and thank you for tuning in to another Patriot Plumber Report. That's a tongue twister, and I'm the one that came up with that. Anyway, how are we all doing? It is time. It is here. It's a three-month review for the Blue Eddy AC180. Now, they sent it to me at no charge to test out, to demo, to put it through the ringer, and guess what? I did. I put it through the ringer. I literally put it through the ringer. Now, you can check out all my other shorts and videos that I did on it, but I'm just going to give you an all around review on everything that I used it for, what I did during the summer, uh, how it helped me save money. I'm just going to show you it all. Okay, so to get on with the review, the AC Blue, the Blue Eddy AC 180. It has an 1800 watt inverter. It has 1152 watt hours capacity. Now that's a lot. Uh, if you're charging, you know, your cell phones, your tablets, your computers, you name it. And I'm going to show you all the things that I did and that I charged and I'll just, well, I'll just jump in. But 1152 watts, that's, that's a lot uh, of uh, power at your fingertips. All right. So, now, with the AC Blue Eddy, I keep on saying the AC, am I going to snip this out? Now, nah, let's just keep it raw. The Blue Eddy AC 180 is a powerhouse, and I will explain all of the things that I used it for and what uh, we did with it during the summer, and I, and I'll, I was amazed. I'll be honest with you all. I was amazed at what this thing can do. So without further ado, I'm just going to flip this around and I'm going to show you a weird angle, but that's all good. Move my drink out of the way so you guys can all see this all perfect. Okay, so here we go. This is the AC 180. Like I said, it's got the 1800 watt inverter, the 1152 watt hour capacity, the MPPT, the MPPT controller is all built in. Um, and it also has uh, uh, four 120 volt 15 amp receptacles that you can plug in. And you can kind of see right there, I've got my charger all ready to show you on that. Uh, you got four of those, uh, and you also, let me get in really closer so you can see right there. Okay, so we have one USB-C 100 watt controller. So that's for like your superchargers. This is for my uh, Samsung phone. My daughter has her iPhone, and it just it's a supercharger. I love it. And then uh, right here, you've got uh, four, count them, one, two, three, four, four uh, USB uh, plugins. It has the, the, the three amp, um, what is it? Uh, yeah, the, it has a three amp, uh, five watt, I mean, it charges your stuff, but it's slow. You just stay with the super fast charging and you're going to be happy. Um, but like like with these, these are dinosaur. And, you know, one day it's, they're going to be gone. And I think to me, they should add one more right here of the the uh, the 100 watt C uh, charging. Because guess what? Apple just went to the C. Apple just went to the C. So, you know, if Blue Eddy, if you would see this, hopefully you'd get rid of one of those and add another one of those. But my tablet and all that stuff still is on these dinosaur, but that's okay. That's, you know, that's all right. Oh, let me turn it on for you so you can see it all. Okay, and then we also have the 12 volt, 10 amp, cigarette port lighter this is great for you know the smokers i'm just joking <laughs> it's also great for your electric coolers you know awesome for your electric coolers i have done a lot of videos showing you girls and gals guys and gals that uh my bouge rv electric cooler 
was just a phenomenal pairing this summer with these two because no more ice and just to show you i'm in this rv i've got my refrigerator right there they're not so big having that bouge rv really helped out with you know groceries and you know drinks and all that good jazz um, this is your DC PV input, you know, so where you can hook up your solar panels and I'll go over that in just a second And then on the top there is another wireless charger and I believe that is like 15 15 watts uh, Of power which you know, it's not a lot, but it still will charge your stuff Okay, so right here. I've got my Milwaukee charger and I'll tell you that in just a second now with the AC 180 you come with this heavy duty power cord and I'll explain to you why it's different compared to the other ones you know like the AC uh, 60 and you know all that good jazz uh, it also comes with you know your solar panel connections which all you have to do is plug right into there hook up to your mp3 mp3 <laughs> that just dated me <laughs> your mc4 connections and then it also comes with a cigarette port uh lighter uh charger so if you plug this into your lighter uh you will be okay now check this out i'm going to do something real quick get this on get this on because i wasn't paying attention and my phone wasn't charged okay so let me just start charging hey what do you know I'm, I'm putting in something into the video that I wasn't thinking I was gonna have to do forgot to charge my phone but that's okay you can see right now I'm getting 10 watts off of the supercharge right now which isn't too bad and I believe it should go up it might be my cord because if I remember correctly you know, I thought I got more than just uh, 10, 10 watts, but that's all right. Okay, so now with the AC two, uh, the AC one eighty, uh, I was just showing you all of the, the, you know, the accessories that comes in to, to charge it and all that stuff. Now, the reason why the power cord is so beefy is because on turbo mode it will actually pull uh just over 1400 watts from the wall uh and that's heavy duty which is you know that's a lot of power if you think about it that's that's supercharging bam you know if you were like 20 percent to 80 percent you'd probably take probably like 40 minutes if not uh less than that um so that's amazing right there in itself and then on the side, if I move this over, oh, boom, we've got where you plug in, which is right there. And then we also have our fuse. And then right here is our grounding pin, which a lot of people are liking and I like too, just in case you wanted to ground your stuff and make sure that, you know, it's protected, you can. Uh, now, one thing that I want to let you girls and guys know is when you get the box and this accessories you're gonna see this this little bag right here and you're gonna think oh no i'm gonna throw it away well don't throw it away because guess what your grounding plug is in it so don't throw that away okay very important very important okay so now with the ac 180 uh, I talked to you guys about the built-in MPT controller. Uh, I talked to you about the 120 watt, uh, 120 volt, 15 amp receptors, and it's also a pure sine wave. So that is amazing right there. Better, uh, I believe it's a, a better energy. I'm just a plumber. Okay, now for solar. Now this is cool. You can bring, you can pull in 500 watts of solar. Now make sure you stay stay in the the in in the requirements, and it's 12 to 60 VDC, 
uh, uh, 12 to 60 volts DC 10 amp. Stay in that range. You'd be golden. Now, uh, you guys and gals have seen my other videos where I had two 200 watt Renogy solar panels going into it and it handled it like a champ. So good there, right there. This whole unit, it weighs a whopping 35, they say 35.7 or 30, they say 35.27. I don't know why they just don't go a little higher and say so I'm just gonna say 35 and a half pounds which isn't that heavy it's got a five-year warranty five year count them one two three four five five years uh, and here's a little uh, some tips and all that stuff uh, you don't want it to be in a high temperature so if it's above a hundred and four or a Here's the thing. It says the max is 104. Don't don't even have it out in a hundred degree, because you know if you're pulling something off of it, it just I wouldn't even do it. Throw it into some shade, but the max is 104 degrees. I don't recommend trying to you know get see if it can handle it. No, no, no. You know, protect your unit, and then you don't want it to go below zero, zero degrees, zero degrees. And like I said, don't, you know, try to get it to five and see if, you know, you're going to be okay with five. Don't do it. That's just your minimum and maximum. But you want to protect your unit and stuff like that. So there's with the AC-180, uh, some of the little uh, things that I was telling you about, you know, which is amazing. And I have literally plugged in all of the units i had everything going if you checked out my other videos i'll show you what i was charging uh and i was only pulling like 140 watts and with everything charging from you know the start of the video to the very end everything i think i used maybe uh 210 watts out of the battery but now here's the cool thing. If I'm charging all this stuff, I can be bringing power in. It's got the pass-through technology. Boom! Win, win, win. Pass-through. So you pull from the sun and you charge everything for free. And that's awesome. That's totally, totally, totally awesome. Now, let me show you some of the stuff that a plumber would use. That's me. That's me. That's me. I'm a plumber. That's why it's called Patriot Plumber Report. Journeyman plumber for almost 20 years. <laughs> so let me show you some of my stuff that I would use on a job site. We've got lights. We've got headlamps. We've got my impact. We've got our, our, our little reciprocal saw, you know, for drywall. We've got my little sawzall, you know, for cutting in wood. You know, this right here was a lifesaver. This is my... Uh, copper cutters you know no more hurt wrists and then CPVC you know these are my cutters right here uh, I got my air pump you know this airs up all my tires for my vehicle you know my airbags I've also got right over there is my grinder I didn't throw up my skill saw or anything like that running out of room uh, also look right over here I was telling you guys about this uh, the 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 uh, what do you want to call it tea kettle you know I can boil my water now this right here it sucks a lot of energy I think it's around 1400 watts but you know what hey I got hot coffee now toaster 750 watts um, so here's some of the things that I use on a daily basis as a plumber on the job and it's important because I'm gonna tell you this right now I've been on so many jobs where they said I had power and they didn't have power <laughs> so having my electric you got to have it it's a must um, but headlamps all of that stuff all right, come back over here let me come back over here all right so oh 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 there we go I'm back okay so those are some of the tools that I've charged and I've used uh, throughout the summer. You know, it's all free because 
The only time that I hooked up the AC 182 grid was to show you the test on standard mode and, you know, super fast charger mode, all that stuff. That was the only time because I needed to show, you know, how fast it, you know, it charged. Um, but the rest of the time I have been uh, getting solar from the sun. And it's amazing because everything from my phones to tablets to the JBL speaker for when we're out, you know, at the lake, um, to my daughter's computer for school, all of this has been charged off of the AC 180 for the last three months. Now, if I wanted to calculate up all of the the wattage, oh man, it's thousands and thousands of watts that I've used uh, and that I've gotten through free energy and uh th that right there is uh it's 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 a uh it's a good feeling knowing that you're not paying the grid for your power um so amazing 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 um so those are the tools uh, i mean i've used it for all kinds if you check out my links below uh, or not my links but my uh other videos and shorts I've done so many. I just did one uh, not too long ago where I was running my shop back. I was running an industrial size blower because there was a water leak at my brother's house running lights. So check out the other videos, like, subscribe, tell your friends. And then if you want to uh, check out the links for the AC uh, 180, you can do that. It's uh, my affiliate program that I'm with on Blue Eddy. Um, so I, and I'll be honest with you. I make a small little amount, not at the cost of you, but at the cost of, of Blue Eddy. So um, anything helps. Um, it's, it's amazing uh, to be able to show a product to my friends, family, and my 729 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you uh, to show you this product um, because... Uh, everything that I put this through was real world. And uh, let me give you a little uh, history of what's going on. So you can see that I am in an RV. Well, it's a 30-foot travel trailer RV. I've got a pop-out right here where I'm sitting. I've got my couch where my dogs are. They're just chilling. I've got my TV and my room's there and my daughter's behind us and all that stuff. Um, so... This is real world testing for the last three months. And uh, I've explained to you folks in other videos and stuff like that. In 2022, I was in a car accident and um, it took me out of work. I've been dealing back and forth with insurance companies, blah, 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 blah. And I finally got approval for my foot surgery and that's next month. Thank the Lord. Um, but so what I've been doing is I've been making YouTube videos and Blue Eddie gave me the opportunity to test out some of their stuff to make videos because really I've been stuck in a boot. I've, I'm going to have to have neck surgery as well. Um, but this is just keeping me occupied. So that little small percentage that I get from Blue Eddie, uh, it just helps keep things going. Uh, so keep that in mind. So like, subscribe, you know, click on the links you know, and enjoy the the beauty of uh, what Blue Eddy can uh, bring you. Uh, so, now with that said, I'm going to show you some other things uh, that I uh, was charging and what I was doing uh, with the AC uh, 180. Uh, and I'm going to show you right now, if my nose stops itching, uh, excuse me, I'm going to take a drink. Okay, now, like I said, living in the real world and a real world test. Um, now, there are other YouTube uh, people out there that are amazing with all of the, da -da -da -da, the computers, the graphs, and all that stuff. Like uh, Jason Noid, he's great. Um, then there's Miniman Prepping. He's amazing because he does more than just test generators. He does all kinds. Check him out. Uh, and then there's Hobotech. Now, that guy's great. He, he does all of the, 
the, the graphs and the, the technical stuff. I'm, he's got all the tools and stuff that I don't have because um, I'm just a plumber. <laughs> but I got a lot of great information from them. And that's what it's all about. Before you buy any products, you got to do your reviews. You've got to look at, you know, the people that have taken the time to invest and to show us if it's good, if it's worth it or if it's not worth it. Um, and right now, Blue Eddy to me is is worth uh, the the price. Uh, and I think right now the the uh, the AC 180 is going for. Now I hope it. Uh, you know, I'll I'll put it in the the link in the description because I can't think of it right offhand. Um, I don't want to say it's this mount, and then you guys hold me to it. I don't want to do that, so I'll throw it in the description. <clears throat> uh, but it's it's a, still a great price, uh, whatever it is. Um, but so with the real real world, I wanted to see what I can throw out the AC 180, and what I threw out is. I didn't throw out. I put it to the test. So now this came with my RV. And what it is, it's a 30 amp plug-in by a regular 120. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I hooked up my RV, the one that I'm living in. Now I'm going to tell you this right now. I didn't have my AC going because it would probably fry it. And my water heater, I went, I turned it from electric to gas. Now, if I wanted to run the electric heater, all by itself is about 1,500 <coughs> watts. And if you take a shower, it's a 10-gallon shower, it might take you 20 minutes. So that's almost 3,000 watts. So I don't recommend, you know, using your electric water heater. Unless it's an emergency, you know, wash your hands or whatever. It's going to be on and off. <clears throat> but you don't want to take that chance because, you know, I have my refrigerator going, which that, you know, you just don't want to do that. So just throw it over to gas. But guess what? I've got all my lights going. i got both refrigerators going. And I'll show you that uh, in a second. I have one inside and then I have one outside for my outside kitchen. And I've got that going. I've also got the little fans going that you know to kind of bring out all of the the hot air because right now it's pretty nice outside it's a little gloomy i'll show you when we go out there um but i've got all of that running and so i plugged this in and the most i was pulling and this is no joke is 450 watts 450 watts now if this was an emergency you know, and, and the 450 watts, that's also the heater going too. Sorry, let me, let me, let me rewind. So with just all the lights in the refrigerator and all that stuff going is around 220 watts. And then when the heater kicked on, it brought it up to about 450 watts. Um, so that right there, that's a win-win for me. Because in an emergency situation, I want to protect my kids, my daughters, by giving them a shelter, food, heat, or even cool if it's summertime and all that stuff. But I want to protect them. And to know that the AC 180 will, will run my 30-foot uh, legacy uh, coachman, that's cool. You know? That's really cool. Um and it's good to know. It's really good to know. So now I was telling you all that I'm a journeyman plumber and I use all of those Milwaukee tools. Well, here's a couple of the big batteries that I use. And then hunting season's coming up, so make sure that you charge up your your walkie-talkies and all that stuff. And earlier I told you about the kettle and the toaster. Well, I'm just going to show you what's this AC 180 can handle. So let's turn on the the AC. That's going to probably kick on for the batteries. Boom! There they go. So to charge both batteries up, I'll show you how much it's going to pull. I believe it's about a hundred. Well, there we go. Look at that. 218. 
so each one of these is about 110 watts um, per hour so do the math and you'll see how long well it says right now 6.5 hours now let's turn on the DC and what I've got going right now is I've got the 100 watt um, USB-C plugged into my phone right now because again I I forgot to charge my phone and I have my laptop charging up right now and then I also have my little uh, wireless Wi-Fi uh, controller so everything is charging up I got my uh, walkie-talkies I got my batteries um, it says it's only pulling 764 watts well let's make a a little assumption let's let's make some toast let's throw that on there look what, what happens brings it up to almost 900 watts I could hear the fan kick back on um, it says about one hour it's not going to take me an hour to make some toast but you can see that it can handle charging my batteries my walkie talkies my laptop my wireless and I can make some toast I'll stop that right there we'll go back over so you see how it says 265 watts because I'm charging everything now I want to have a cup of coffee let's see what that does that brings me up to 1600 and 15 watts maybe it says I'm only gonna get about a half hour but that just shows you it can handle all of this. Handle it all. <laughs> Not too shabby for the AC 180. Alright, you want to know how you can charge your AC 180? Is with the Blue Eddy PV350. I've just got it hooked straight up to it. Here's my powerhouse trailer. Alright, so. You can see right now I'm getting in about, oh crap, that dang, there we go, there we go, 305 watts. Uh, I started this at about 85%, it said it was just over a half hour, now we're at 0.5, it started at 0.6, but that's really good for the PV350, I mean, it's 305 watts of free energy, and I'll show you uh, what this free energy does. In just a moment so hold on here's the thing that you can hook up to your AC 180 I've got my 30 amp for my RV hooked up to the splicer that goes into the 120 so everything that's in my trailer the smaller loads will be able to handle it so right now it shows let's do a close-up 338 three says 340 watts going out right now shows me at about 2.9 hours but let me show you something I have my PV 350 hooked up to it so theoretically I'm going to be pulling free energy from the Sun to run my RV let me show you one more thing so hold tight now that the PV kicked on, it shows 307 watts coming in, and I'm using 330, 340 watts. It shows it at 16 point, no, 15.9 hours I can go using my AC 180 to run my RV. All right, stay tuned. I got more. That's pretty awesome right there. Alright, you can see that the watts went up to about 500. Because guess what I turned on? I turned on the furnace. So, pretty amazing. I can run my furnace for my RV off of my AC 180. You can see right there, 502 watts. And I'm uh, bringing in 311. So it says I could run this for 5.6 hours. All right, hold on. I'm going to show you more. I also want to let you know, uh, before I turned on the heater, 
the only thing that was running, I had my TV and my D, uh, Blu ray hooked up, so you know that draws power. I did have a light on, and then I got, you know, two refrigerators hooked up to that. So that wasn't a big draw for my heater to kick on. So I'm pretty impressed so far. And if you check my other uh, short, I hooked up the, uh, I ran the, the microwave for 30 seconds, handled it like a champ. Um, all right, stay tough, stay tuned, hold on. Okay, I just wanted to let you know what I have going on in my trailer right now. I have the TV going just on regular antenna, and I put on all the living room lights, so it's pulling 430 watts to say. It's telling me that I can run this with 200. 74 watts coming in 5.7 hours so hold up and uh, we'll see how long we can go don't mind the mess but you can see I've got all my lights on and I've got my TV going and that's that's awesome and I've got the, the fridge going that's my daughter's room bathrooms over there that's Elizabeth hey Elizabeth all right Hold on. Okay, I'm running my microwave and it shows me at 1820. I haven't got an overload. I'm running it for one minute. Let's see what it does. It looks like it's fluctuating, but I don't even have the power lifting mode on. So that's another win. One minute test. So you know it was it's gonna draw about 1500 watts. That is pretty impressive. Okay, one minute test is over. It brought it back down to 320 watts. I had no overload. I don't know if I really want to say do a five minute test, but I'm just going to say if you needed to heat up some formula for your baby, you're good to go because normally you don't use a minute, you use about 15 seconds. So, another win right there. I've got 284 watts coming in. It says right now I can run this for 13.2 hours. Okay, now a little follow-up. I guess my compressors turned off for my refrigerators because now it's only pulling 28 watts and it says that it's going to take 0.4 hour to charge up to 100%. Stay tuned. Okay, the phone is charged, so here's... One of the things I wanted to show you, the AC-180 can do. All right, here's my outside kitchen. I just have my, my gas stove right there, but I have a nice size refrigerator. Now, when this thing kicks on, the surge is 450 watts, but it doesn't stay that for very long. And then it kicks it back down to probably around 60 watts. So. Right there, that's a win-win. And like I was telling you before, um, this is a huge requirement. Huge, huge, huge requirement. Here's my powerhouse. This is where all the goody stuff is. There's the PV350 that I won on the giveaway. Ha <laughs> ha, thanks Blue Eddie. That came in handy with the damage that I lost. Well. There is the Bouge RV 30 quart. Right now it says it's probably about 43 degrees. It does have a separation, but right now I have eggs and soup and vegetables down at the bottom. These dang stink bugs are everywhere. But I have been running this thing nonstop through, well, it's hooked up to my AC 200 Max right now. I've had it hooked up to my AC 300. I've had it hooked up to my AC 60. Uh, and I've had it hooked up to my uh, EB70S and the EB3A. Uh, it's amazing. It's totally amazing. Um, but for summer, no more ice. No more ice. There's Ellie. She's enjoying her back rubs. But, you know, I showed you a video where I actually ran both the Bouge RV and uh, my outside refrigerator. And the cool thing about it is, is all, all I had was my uh, PV120 uh, hooked up to it all day long. It stayed charged, stayed charged. And 
you know, when the compressor turns on and all that stuff on this one, like I said, it was about 450, but it doesn't stay on so that long. Um, so I got hours and hours and hours of usage. And uh, like I said, um, they're in the other videos that I have done. Um, but here's the thing with Blue Eddie. They're, they're knocking it out of the park. So, I mean, I can run my RV, not everything, but most of everything. And like I said, you know, I'm not running my AC unit or anything like that. I'm not running the electric uh, water heater. I flip those things over and all that stuff. But to know that it can run this 30 footer is amazing. I mean, you gotta, you gotta agree with me. That's, that's probably, that's really cool, man. And one thing I totally forgot to mention, and this is cool too. I gotta go back into the power station. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I had the AC uh, 60 hooked up to the AC 180. And what I did what I did is then I hooked up uh, some solar. Uh, I, was, I hooked up 500, uh, well, I hooked up the PV350 and, uh, uh, and it was j just charging it. So free energy bypass into the AC60 to charge it. And that's a win, that's a win win-win all right let me go back inside and dun, dun. what's up elizabeth you just chilling you just chilling all right so hey everybody uh, now i'm back oh that was gonna be a little wobble <laughs> all right so the AC 180 is a powerhouse. Now, I'm gonna tell you, the only bad thing I found about it is, is I kind of we kind of got spoiled when they when they brought out the AC 60 and it was being and it being uh, IP 65 rating. That's one of the things I wish they would do make this ip65 rating now i did hear some you know talking maybe it's coming out with the the new one i think they said they're calling it the ac180p and i believe they I, they give you more watts your watt hours uh, i'm not really sure i don't know when it's coming out and all that stuff but that's one of the things i would love for them to do uh, the AC60, I just love the the ruggedness. I felt like there was it was more, you know, for outdoors. You know what I'm saying? So if they could do that to this, boom, that's that would then I'd be happy. Uh, and I think a lot of other people would be happy as well if it was IP65 rating. Because here's the thing. I left that AC60 outside. Oh, somebody's coming to the front door, which is, I believe, my other dog. So hold up. Hold up. Come on, Ellie. Come on. Elizabeth. There you go. There you go. Sorry about that. Maybe I edit this out. Maybe I don't. So, anywho. So the AC60. The Ace, <laughs> she's loud too. The AC60, I just, I, I like the ruggedness and this, the solid, um, you know, don't get me wrong, I like the AC180, but if they could morph the two, that would be great because I'll tell you what, I left the AC60 outside during a rainstorm. It got soaked, but guess what? It, nothing happened. Everything's fine. And that's that's the one thing with these smaller units. They're portable. You can take them to the lake, to wherever. 
But, I mean, just having that protection of knowing if, you know, one of your kids is, oh, sorry, Dad, I spilled my water, and then your unit's toast. Uh, knowing that, that that wouldn't happen, that would be a peace of mind, you know, uh, especially for the smaller units and, you know, even maybe for the bigger units like the, the AC200 uh, Max or the B300. That would be cool if they made that IP65 rated, you know, because you just never know. Anywho, okay, so I've kind of broke it all down to you, the, everything that I've used it for, you know, I can use it for my job sites, I can use it for survival to keep my house warm and the lights on and the fans going and all that stuff, that's a plus. Now here's another thing too, um, there is an extension cable. It's called the, the P090D by DC7909. Uh, and basically what that does is I can plug it into my B230 battery or my B300 battery. So the B300 battery is 3,072 watt hours. The B230 battery is 2,042 watt hours. So imagine being able to expand the AC 180. Um, I wish I could tell you that, oh, I got, you know, to, to demo that uh, cord, I actually spent money out of my pocket and ordered it and for some reason this is where it gets crazy for some reason it was sent to my old house in Idaho uh, I know the people that bought my house um, I contacted them they said we'll put it we'll take it back down to UPS they went back down to, they sent it back to them and then I got an email saying that it was out of stock and I was kind of bummed out because I was like wait a minute if it was sent back to you, how come you couldn't have just taken that and then sent it to my new address? They had my new address. I went through and I talked to customer service, which was amazing. They they saw what happened and um, uh, they changed it all and they let me know. But then I got the email saying, you know, um, that it's out of stock. And so I didn't get to use it. I was hoping I was I was I was hoping to be able to show you because having those two right there and, and expanding it that would have been cool. I think that would have been my yeah, moment on this video, but I didn't get to have it. So Blue Eddie, you know, just to let you know, I'm not sure why I didn't receive it. And I had to get my refund, and my refund, you guys, took two days. That's it, two days. Talked to customer service, emailed, let them know, and all that stuff. They worked with me. It was amazing. Uh, I talked to him a few times. Um, so, um, that, yeah, other than that, that, that's, that was another little bummer that I didn't get to do is to show you that uh, ex uh, extension uh, cable, which would have been freaking awesome because they had like eight foot. So, you know, uh, for examples, you guys, um, uh, if you've got a, a van, or a camper, you know, that you want, and there's not enough room for, you know, the, all the cables, eight foot. So you could put the battery somewhere and you run it over and plug it into the AC 180 and then bam, you've got, you know, 3000 extra Watts or 2000 extra Watts. Um, but I didn't get to, I didn't get it <laughs> as much as I wanted to. I waited and I waited and waited and uh, it just didn't happen. So Lloyd, if you're watching this, um, Send it to me. I'm just joking. <laughs> Anywho, um, so that's the cool thing. This is expandable with the other batteries. So, I mean, that's a plus right there. If you can turn it into like, you know, 4,000 plus watts, that's a lot of watts. I mean, that, that's a ton. So uh, you can imagine, you know, because on those batteries... They have their own cigarette port. They have their own, uh, you know, 100 watt uh, USB C. Uh, they have, you know, the the 5 watt 3 amp uh, USB. Uh, they have a cigarette port. What else do they have on it? That's about it. Oh, and a place where you can charge for solar. 
So that's another thing. I mean, that's pretty freaking cool. Okay, well, I think I'm done. I've kind of showed you everything that I've used it for and what I really put it to the test. And like I said, I ran TVs. I ran, you know, uh, everything, you know, with this unit. I mean, like I said, I was charging my AC60. I charged my EB3A. I charged my, you know, uh, EB70S. I mean, it's all functional to charge all your other units and the cool thing like i said all of my energy all of my testing has been coming from solar except for when i was showing you about turbo charge and standard mode and all that stuff okay well i hope you enjoyed this review uh i enjoy working with blue eddy uh i'll be sending this back to them uh and then uh, my next big review is uh the ac 300 um i'm coming up on the three month uh so i'm going to show you all the stuff that i've been doing with that with this rv because i mean with the ac 300 i could i, I was able to run you know my uh ac unit and my ac unit's the same it's, it's around 1600 watts and what's cool is you know uh, once I get all my solar, you know, hooked up, you know, I had a setback uh, this summer where I lost about a thousand watts. Storm came in, you know the rest. Um, but anyway, if you have all of your watts coming in, and I think the max watts for the AC2 or AC300 is like 2,400 watts. So if you've got the solar panels, it's free energy for the AC, for the heater, for your lights, refrigerators, your electronics. I mean, it'll just do it all. Um, now, the AC 180, do I recommend it? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, hands down, recommend it. Um, now, but the one thing I do want everybody to do, and remember, get that watt meter so that you can test what you can run off of your units. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I, I, I really enjoy listening and watching your comments come in. Uh, all right. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'll show you it one more time. The AC-180. I can unplug this now. The AC-180 has an 1800 watt inverter and 1152 watt hours. All right. I hope you enjoyed. God bless, and we'll see you on the next report.